Protected Areas Law plays an important role in management of protected areas. The Protected Areas Law should designate management authorities for each protected site. The law should set out who can be appointed management authority, the process for appointing management authorities, the functions, powers and duties of a management authority, accountability and reporting mechanisms for a management authority, processes and grounds for termination of a management authority, and consequences when a management authority is terminated. Management functions can be shared among multiple authorities. These can include government institutions, local communities, indigenous and traditional peoples, NGOs, private individuals and corporate entities. Co-management arrangements are generally regulated by a written agreement between the management authorities. The Protected Areas Law should define authority and processes for creating co-management agreements and set out the mandatory and discretionary content of co-management agreements. The Protected Areas Law should provide for the preparation, approval and implementation of a management plan for each site. A management plan is a written scheme that guides the management authority in implementing specific measures to advance conservation objectives of a protected area. The Protected Areas Law should set out the form and nature of a management plan, the content to be included in a management plan the process for developing and approving a management plan, which should include public participation and technical consultation. Mechanisms for monitoring and reporting on implementation of a management plan. Mechanisms for flexibility and adaptation in implementing and updating a management plan. Protected areas law should require a management plan for each site. In addition, it should require a system plan to identify conservation goals and objectives for the overall system to achieve a comprehensive network of coherent, representative, adequate and interconnected protected areas. Protected areas can be divided into different zones, such as strictly managed areas, tourism areas, recreational use areas, restoration areas and traditional use areas. Zones can be established by the management plan, administrative regulation or the protected areas law. In all cases, the protected areas law should recognise the concept of zoning as a management tool. Zones enable the management authority to adopt different management approaches and levels of regulation in different parts of a single protected site. This allows greater flexibility and effectiveness in managing multi-purpose and multi-dimensional protected areas. Protected areas management plans should identify connectivity conservation areas to support and protect protected area sites and systems. Connectivity conservation areas can include buffer zones around established protected areas and ecological corridors between protected areas. Protected areas law should promote the use of connectivity conservation in protected area planning and management by providing for identification and demarcation of connectivity conservation areas in system planning and management planning, consultation and coordination between protected areas authorities and other public and private entities whose actions or decisions may impact connectivity conservation areas mechanisms to develop voluntary conservation agreements with communities or private landowners in connectivity conservation areas. Main Messages Protected Areas Law must create effective and accountable management authorities. Protected Areas Law may enable the sharing of functions, powers and responsibilities between management authorities. Protected Areas Law should prescribe a clear management planning regime. 
Protected areas laws should enable different management approaches and levels of regulation within one site through zoning. Protected areas laws should promote buffers and connectivity.